Hey everyone, this is Spencer Ross and I'm coming at you live from Madrid, Spain from my apartment here. And I wanted to talk to you today about who I am and um, a little bit about what life is like after the first, first month of the TT, TT Temple Madrid course. Um, so let's start off and um, about who I am. I actually am from Grundy Center, Iowa and I went to the University of Northern Iowa for business and marketing. And after marketing and business, I decided I wanted to get into sales, and I did sales for three years in Des Moines, Iowa. And uh, during that time, I um, played Ultimate Frisbee. This has been a big hobby of mine. It's not disc golf, so if you guys know what disc golf is, then uh, please uh, keep those uh, distinctions in mind. Um, and, you know, of course, since I'm here in Madrid, one thing is I love to uh, travel and meet new people. So... Uh, going back to why I decided to move to Spain is starting off, I've always loved traveling. Um, I studied abroad first for one month in um, China, and then I studied for abroad in Austria for six months after that, um, just a year later. But uh, hey, Rosie, hey, Arena, thanks for stopping in today. And um, on top of that, I've always wanted to learn a new language. That's something that's always been a huge passion of mine. And Spanish makes the most sense, especially uh, in the States right now. You know, that's um, a big thing is, you know, a lot of Hispanic-speaking sp uh, people there. So um, I I've always thought about moving out somewhere, traveling, living in a new place, a new country. And I always told myself, you know, uh, someday, someday. <laughs> but why not make that someday today? Hey, Carmen, how's it going? CJ, thanks for stopping in today. Um, but you know, one of the great things about I found while I've been here is there's so many amazing opportunities to teach English and sustain yourself while living in a new country. So, um, how did I come across DT? I actually found it on the internet. Uh, was doing my research online because again, I wanted to find a way that I could live in a new country, sustain myself, and travel as much as I wanted to and meet really fun people. So, found TT. And it is everything that they said it would be and more. And when I say that is it was the fastest and the most intense four weeks of my life. Um, but at the same time, TT really set me up to succeed here in Spain by teaching. And I've been doing a lot of private classes for English since my course in August. And as well as after my course, I've been doing full-time Spanish classes as well. But one of the great things that I've, I've really enjoyed about TT so far is the Afterwards, they're from with you from day one to day 365. And what I mean by that is they're sending you constantly updates on new job opportunities for uh, people that are looking for English teachers. They're there for you whenever you need something to go print. And, and the, the staff is the best staff in the world. So, hey, Javi, how's it going? <laughs> um, but uh, again, there's so much to do, as I mentioned, after the first initial month. And just to give you a few things about uh, myself after, that I've done here after my TT course is uh, I've really tried to focus on my Spanish, as I mentioned, and traveling. So I've had the uh, opportunity to travel quite a bit because first off, traveling here is so, is so much cheaper than in the States. That's one of the best things. There's so many different modes of transportation. You can take a bus, you can take the train, you can fly, and flying is cheaper here too. All these countries are so close, they're with arm's reach. So I have gone to Portugal, I've studied, or I've, I've gone to San Sebastian, Bilbao, Avila, Valladolid, Toledo, Segovia. I'm trying to get all the, the cool places of Spain in, the back, in my backyard first and then start expanding from there. Hey Rashmi, how's it going? Thanks for stopping in today. Uh, and if, guys, if you have any questions for me when you're in here, uh, please don't hesitate to ask uh, what I'm here for, I want to answer those questions for you. Um, but... Uh, again, going back to things I've done afterwards, um, traveling, learning the language, and enjoying myself are some of the main things. And it's so easy to do that here uh, because there's so many cool things about Spain that I've learned so far. And so uh, I'll just go a little bit about the culture I've learned so far about Spain. Um, what has been my favorite trip, CJ? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, I would have to say so far... My favorite trip was San Sebastian. I went up there with a, a group of, I think it was like six or seven of us. It was a, a large group of friends of mine. Uh, we all went to San Sebastian. And the reason why I loved it is San Sebastian is beautiful. 
Uh, we had a great Airbnb while we were out there. Uh, they have a couple of beaches in uh, St. Sebastian that were really cool to visit. And we went right around winter time and we were still able to go to the water and everything. So that was that was really neat. Oh, and I went to Grand Canaries. How can I forget that? That was that was also one of my favorite trips too, going to the Grand Canary Islands, which is um, pretty far out there. But um, going back to the, the culture here in Spain that's just so fascinating, uh, one of the cool things that you'll immediately notice out here is um, the food. So the food here, first off, it's amazing. You'll, you'll, you'll learn to love tapas. Um, and one of the best things about tapas is you always get, when you get a drink, you get free food with it, the tapas. And that, that for me worked out perfectly because I mean, I love food and drink, so why not? Um, but Arena, so how did I find my apartment? Um, there's actually quite a few ways. There's a lot of great opportunities. Um, TT, I know helped, I uh, can help you find apartments, but I found mine actually, the one I'm living in now. I've moved once. Um, I found it through an app online and it was called Body, but there's a couple of ways, places you can go to online to find uh, apartments. And, you know, they're very uh, cost effective or uh, efficient. You know, you don't have to find a, you don't have to pay an arm and a leg to live in a nice place here, which is great. And uh, what I found too is a lot of the places in the barrios that are uh, near Seoul, they have some uh, a little bit more a little bit more quiet. They're still within walking distance of downtown, the main area, which is it's fantastic. So, um, but going back to a little bit more about Spain again, um, something that I've liked too is siestas. Siestas are uh, something that I think Spain is doing right. Uh, the siesta hours kind of go into the business hour side of things. If you're trying to find some food anytime between four and maybe seven or eight o'clock at night, more than likely it's going to be closed. But, um, uh, Rosie, you're actually going into my next question, uh, my next point. What is the knife, nightlife like in Madrid? Oh, well, let me figure out a word to describe it. Late. Very late. <laughs> um, coming from the States, at least for myself, um, I'm used to the bars closing around 2 o'clock, um, going out to eat food with your friends around 8 or 9, getting supper around then. But here... What you find is everyone doesn't get supper until maybe 11 o'clock, midnight, and then, okay, let's go out at 1 o'clock because the bars stay open until 6 or 7 here. So that's, uh, that's been one of those things where you, you go out all night, and then it, it's, it is a blast, though. I can't say enough good things about the nightlife here um, and well about, as well as the food. Um, but let's go about some things that might be a little bit contrasting. Um, let's see, the punctuality is a little different here. I guess if you go out with your friends around, say you want to be at 8 o'clock, you can get there around 8.15 and you'll be just fine. Um, but punctuality is a big one. Um, let's see, what else? Um, PDA is a big thing out here. Uh, public displays affection, business hours as I had mentioned. Um, but some other things I've done while I've been here, uh, I've been going to a few football games. I've really enjoyed going to watch football. Um, for everyone that's watching in Madrid right now, I'm sorry if you're a Real Madrid fan, but I have chosen the side Atletico, so if that's your team, then go Atletico. Uh, but also, uh, one of the great things too is ease of travel here. In, in Spain, in Madrid, uh, the metro is perfect for commuting. So that's also a, a really, really great thing for when you're teaching. A lot of times you might have to travel a little bit to go to your... Um, their houses of where your residents are or to your academy that you're going to be teaching in. But the great thing is those metros, the system, the auto buses, everything is, it runs so well here and so smoothly. So uh, that's kind of what I wanted to do today is just to give you a little bit of background about who I am, uh, put a face to the name, and hopefully I can I'll always be here for you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, shoot me a message anytime you'd like. That's what I'm here for. Again, I want to help you, um, you know, overcome any questions or obstacles that may be keeping you or holding you back from uh, taking that leap of faith like I did and, you know, quitting the job and moving out to a new country and trying to start and starting this new life, this amazing life. Um, but my plan here in the future is I'll be coming at you each week, hopefully, uh, from wherever I'm at, whether I'm traveling, whether I'm in a museum, whether I'm back in my apartment maybe, but just telling you a little bit about the life after that first month of the TT Tefl Madrid course. And um, 
like I said, uh, thank you so much again for watching today, guys. Uh, what I'd like, if you could give this post a like, uh, go ahead and find the Facebook uh, TT Madrid Temple Certificate course online as well on Facebook. Give that a like. Uh, I put the website for TT on here as well. Um, and again, if you have questions, feel free to reach out. But in the meantime, uh, thanks again for tuning in today, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all next week with the next one.